you for joining me in another thrift hunt. I saw this Sony Discman car ready CD player, bought it. I should get about 30 or 40 bucks for it only because it's all together. And some people, they like to have the authentic early 90s CD Discman experience. Next up, I saw an American flag. I always check American flags to see how many stars they have. If they have 49 stars, that is old. That's an old vintage flag worth about 75 bucks. This one, uh, I did count the stars. It has 50 stars, relatively modern. I am debating putting it in my warehouse just to have. If I were to sell it, maybe I could get 30, 40 bucks for it. It does have a cool look to it, the worn vintage fabric. I think it looks good. This also looked good, not to sell, but to have Bacon Express. So I guess what you do, and no one has used this yet, you can tell because it's not covered in grease and grime, is lay the strips of bacon over that metal impulse. I left it, it seems messy and kind of dangerous. I liked this a lot. What would you call that? It's a, a, a pitcher, it's a, uh, a little pourer. I think that's hand painted. I, I'm not sure. There's a little chip on it. The bottom had worn off. I don't know much about this kind of glass stuff, but I liked it. I did leave it on the shelf. What I did not leave on the shelf, and I'll make about 15, 20 bucks on, is this a Starbucks ceramic mug. They wanted four bucks in the store. Now the current comps are 20 bucks, give or take five dollars. I will list at 29 or 34 bucks and 95 cents. I kind of do it that way. I'm trying to raise the market up. They are highly collectible. I think it will work. Love this plate. Love the colors, the design. That chip on it wasn't too great. The brand is Royal Ironstone, and I found comps for these plates. It's about 15 bucks for a single plate. Uh, there was four for $5. I said, eh, these are pretty big, pretty heavy. I'm not sure how much meat is left on that bone, so I left them, even though I did find that cool, it's like an aquatic design to me. I found that very interesting. This was a brand that I'm seeing a lot of as I do more research. It's False Graph. Um, I think I'm saying that right. Whole slew of coffee cups or teacups. I counted 12. And I was thinking about this. I began seeing more with this design. I think it's called the Village Design, but I could be totally wrong. Uh, I think I, I saw maybe half a full set of this. That would have gone for like 300 bucks. But there are so many here. Uh, and it's such foreign territory for me that I left it. Starbucks mug, not the collection of Starbucks mugs that I'm usually looking for. It's the international cities. This one is Wisconsin, obviously it's a state. And I put it back on the shelf because I didn't realize it was four for $2. These mugs were only 50 cents a piece for the, the, the large part, not all of them, but the newer ones. I think they're having too much stock and so they're lowering the price on mugs. And then I saw this, 2000 Speedster Volkswagen Opel, made in Germany, the brand is Seltzman Viter or uh, something like that. I ended up finding it on eBay. So this exact mug I could not comp out, but I found the same brand uh, in the auto industry. Yeah, Seltzman Viden. Um, they did other Volkswagen stuff. And I think because this is kind of a sought after collected car, it has a, a big niche community. I can get probably 30 bucks for it. It was four for two bucks, so I had to find some more mugs. This vintage 1990 Where's Waldo mug, very cool. I could not actually find Waldo. I didn't look very hard, but I couldn't find him. I think I'll probably get 20 bucks for that. This one, vintage 87 Hallmark, fearless leader, kind of ironic, kind of snarky, I think. I like that a lot, so I, I filled my card up with four mugs. This is a cast iron uh, mermaid tail. I was going to say whale tail. It's a mermaid tail. Modern. You can see that's kind of welded on there. I, I wish it was all one piece. I found the designer who makes this. They're Australian and they actually sell them on eBay for about 40 bucks when all things are uh, taken into account. So I think I can list this at like 35 bucks. And you see three in the listing there. It was only for one listing. Kind of confusing, but they have a sales history. I like the look. It'd go great in someone's like beach house or a condo or Airbnb. I paid two bucks for it. Going through the clothes rack, I found something pretty cool. Not this Ringer t-shirt, but this Hus or sorry, Tusker, not Husker, Tusker brand t-shirt made in Kenya. 
tag looks vintage. I found similar, you know, logoed t-shirts, but they were all black. So maybe this gray Tusker, and if you speak uh, what they speak in Kenya, let me know what that says. Maybe this is worth like 30 bucks. That could be high, but it certainly sells at 20 bucks. This next brand, Hill Flint, I think they're liars. I don't know, I'm kind of joking, but uh, based on the scarab beetle on that tag, the articulation needed to make that design, this is not like a 1950s style sweater, although it does appear that way. It's a stand on there. They want 11 bucks for it. Uh, I looked up comps on eBay. Maybe 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks, but that stain is a wild card. And so I said, you know what? I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with so many unknowns when I have knowns like this. These are MP3 CD audiobooks. Those are regular CD audiobooks. Uh, I'm going to sell the MP3 CD, which is like a different format, in a lot. I'll probably get two or three bucks per, uh, per audiobook. And then the two sealed ones, I should get about 30 bucks for individually. This brand, Spider, look out for Spider. It is a very nice ski brand. This is a kid's ja jacket, youth large, I guess, probably, uh, size 16. I looked it up. It still sells. Even though it's a kid's jacket, I should get about 45 bucks for it, 50 bucks for it. Cool L.L. Bean Shetland wool sweater. Easy 40 bucks right there. This polo sweatshirt, I don't pick these up usually. That is called a shawl collar. That's why I looked at it. Everything here I paid, it was uh, 7 bucks for the coats and 3 bucks for the sweatshirts. That's a great deal. Or sorry, 4 bucks, not 3 bucks for the sweatshirts. That's an amazing deal. So even though like these brands are not like super amazing brands, everything here with the exception of probably the, the, the polo ca collar type thing, I'll get at least 40 bucks for. I thought this was an authentic leather footstool. Turn it over. Nope. That's plastic. Gross. I think I'm gonna cap that. I, I love the look. Looks very like regal almost, but it's not what I wanted, so it stayed here on the shelf. Cool hand blown little vase. Two bucks for it. Uh, I peeled up the sticker to see if it was indeed blown glass, and it it was. You'll see in a second. I love that. Looks cool. Small, tiny. Two bucks for it. I think I might auction this off. I don't know. I think I'm gonna start sharing my eBay store. Uh, and auctioning off things like this that I find interesting, but I don't really know that much about. Same with this right here. Uh, I think this is another um, hand-blown vase. I don't know. I don't know. I want to learn. Uh, and so I'm going to buy this stuff and auction it off, and that's going to help me build a baseline for what these things are worth if they're unsigned or uh, I don't want to say amateur quality, but just like not the kind of things that are always are you know being looked at or talked about. I love these vases. They have these thin uh, amber or tan wisps that go around it. There are two of them, six bucks a piece. Uh, they're about eight inches tall, probably. I'm not really sure. Um, but I said, okay, you know what? For 12 bucks for a pair of these, I'll buy them. I like how they look. I'll list them at like 60 bucks. That might be too high. But again, you know, I'm learning, and this is how you learn. This is a marble. It's I'm going to call it a reading lamp. Definitely vintage. That that socket or the plug is pretty old. Uh, on the bottom of there, it's actually stamped marble. It's kind of hard to tell with the camera I was using, but it is. So this is, I'm guessing, authentic marble. Cool brass articulating design. It's small. Um, not sure how I'll price it, but I do think it's worth at least like 30 or 40 bucks. If I'm wrong, I would love for you to tell me. So I saw one of these earlier in the week, or yeah, yesterday, I guess. It's like a caddy for a, a Pyrex casserole dish. This Pyrex casserole dish, based on the number right there, I think it's from like the 1910s. If it had an etched top, it'd be worth more, uh, but very cool. I saw a similar comped one uh, around 30 to 40 to 50 bucks. And then the unlisted or uh, unsold, just like an average listing, that one is going for, or it's listed at rather, $175, give or take. Uh, and that's pretty crazy. I don't think I have the same one. I think that there's more to this that I don't understand. Uh, but just like the fact that someone's trying to get that much for what I pretty much similarly have in my cart. Makes me feel good about spending 10 bucks to get it. Okay, so I've got all of the glass inside the coats, <laughs> just seat belted in tight. Um, I have a lot to research. The Pyrex casserole dish uh, does not have an, any etching on it, and I think that makes it worth less, but the caddy and center of the holder it's in uh, would seem to make it worth more, especially it's a very ornate design. 
gonna go home, do some shipping, back to my warehouse, not go home, uh, and then edit the video, get this out tonight, and do it all over again tomorrow. If you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe. I'm doing a lot of these videos in a row, especially during the weekdays, and your support is enormously appreciated. Letter of the day, message of the day, because we have one in all the Thrift Hunt videos, the playlist, you should watch all of it, is T. Write down the letter T. 